What's up guys? How is everybody doing out there? I've returned to my old stomping grounds. You know, I like to come up in this area and uh, just walk around and see what's new and see what's changed. You know, it's been coming up on five years that we've been here and I've been here, retired here. Um, but so much changes over the years. This building right here, that was a vacant lot. Now they're putting in apartments in there and stuff. That's been going up for quite a while. Um, this is the area I used to live. <clears throat> so I figured, <coughs> I actually came up here to talk to my mechanic, my old mechanic. Kind of let him know where I've been. <laughs> He's like, I haven't seen you in a while. It's like, well, I sold the Kia, that's why. Um, but I like just, I don't know, just, those are two same cars, the city. Hmm. Just to come up and just to see what's going on here. Um, it was, I enjoyed living up in this area. A lot of expats do live up in this area. Always a lot of apartments up here for rent and places. There's a vacant lot there. It's like a big number eight on that building. It must have been the design of the building when it was in there. But over to the right is, we'll get over that way then. Over to the right is, um, ah, slipping my mind now. Ah, it'll get to me, it'll get to me. It'll come to me. The condo, the condo unit I watched being uh, built from ground zero up. There's another place for rent. For rent, two bedroom townhouse. <clears throat> La Grande, that's it. La Grande Residency. We'll get over there and check that out. For rent, one bedroom. I always said, easiest, not the easiest way. Well, the simplest way to find a place. There's La Grande. Is uh, to find a place for rent and just walk around in an area. Ask trike drivers, they'll usually let you know. Um, some, sometimes the for rent signs will be up for months and months and months on end. They don't take it down. Uh, but just take snap photos of it and give them a call. And That's the easiest way I have found to uh, find a place for rent. <clears throat> would I move back in this area? Yeah, I would move back in this area. <clears throat> yeah, I'd move back in this area. It's nice. Uh, hello. Hi. La Grande. That's their second phase that's being done over there. They're moving right along. Like I said, we'll take a little stroll over there. Apartment for rent, two bedroom, one CR. This just is one road. There's multiple roads back in through here with apartments that are for rent. All right, let's head over to La Grande. Check out La Grande Residency. All right, here we are. Here's La Grande Residency. <clears throat> you can see the uh, progress <clears throat> that has been done to it. All within five years. <clears throat> All within five. Like I said, I remember we just lived two blocks up here. And I remember when this was just nothing here. I mean, there were buildings here, but they came through, they tore them all down. And they've built this huge residency here. All the way down through. That's the second phase of it. I was told there's five phases. At least that's what I was told when they first started here. Five phases. And you can see the progress. Last time I was here, I don't think they had all that. They didn't have all that built. 
But there it is, La Grande Residency. Nice place. I think it's a nice place. So let's head back up. And we'll walk up this way. We'll go by my old apartment. See what's going on. This place to the left. More rentals. For rent. This Philmania import and export place. Do you want? I remember going in there, and uh, what did they have in there? Different kinds of beer from all over, and different foods Hello. from all over. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine. All right. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Oh, this used to be right here on the corner. They used to have a little food store here, a little canteen, but that's gone. They tore all that down. But this road here, this is the road we lived on, right up here to the right, Cashville apartment. This place here on the right, and Dio's Suites, that was an empty lot when we lived here. They put that in there within the past couple years. I don't know if they have monthly, weekly rentals. But that, yeah, that was, uh, that's all new. All that there. <clears throat> right here on the right is where we used to live. Right here, Cashville Apartments. Right here. Nothing changes there. All the same. Coming up here on the left hand side, you guys can kind of see that new construction there. That's all new. That was a vacant lot. And it's now what appears to probably be more more uh rental rental places. I'll have to ask them. It's gonna be rental apartments or what it's gonna be. Doesn't look I'll ask him. Hello, hello. What is this going to be? Rentals? Apartment rentals? Apartment rental? Yeah, that's what it's going to be. All right. I remember when this was just a lot. I used to live. I used to live right here, Cashville. And this was just an empty lot. Now you guys are building. All right. Hard workers. <laughs> All right. Wow, they're doing a, they're doing a good job there. Just want to kind of show you here just a little bit. <clears throat> this has got a concrete wall up on it now. That's an empty lot in there. I'll come up here and show you some more. Uh oh, there they are. Kids. Hey, the kids. That's all right. <laughs> hey, hey, hello, hello. Hey, this here on the left was a hotel. When we were here, they were doing some construction work to it and to the pool area, but it doesn't appear that anybody is in there. It's still empty. Just a big H up there. Still empty here. That used to be a law office there. That's empty. This was a hotel. That's empty. Just another victim of COVID. This yellow building on the left was a hotel. Hello. That's now sitting empty. I know that was for rent. 
this place here appears to be closed, renovating inside. This building right here on the corner here is brand new. I was told that's part of the Signpost Hotel. That's part of their new construction there. Signpost is down there on the left. But the, uh, that was, I remember when that was a lot there and it was just vendors. Little food stalls, little calderitas, whatever you want to call them, all the way down through here. Uh, that was all, that was all tore out and that was put in there. And you can see it's going to be a hotel rooms. You can see the rooms. And right here on the corner. Is a little eating place. And I've come through here in the evening and they are open. Right here on the right. Matter of fact, there's a couple people sitting in there. But this is all new within the past couple of years. Hello? No, no, thank you. Kind of give you an idea where we're at. Omega Travels right there. Horizon Frontier Hotel. That is not open. Omega is open inside. There's the Petron. There's the Premier Hotel that we go swimming at. This is it right here. Tata Ayaras. Looks nice. Looks nice. Like I said, uh, this was a. I remember when the buildings were here. And all they were were just little stores, little tiny stores all the way down through here. So this just kind of gives you an idea uh, what the old neighborhood now looks like. Five years, coming up on five years. Wow. So much changes. That's one thing here. Things do change and progress and... Out with the old, in with the new. <laughs> I never understood this area back in here. I mean, aside from the apartments and, you know, foreigners living back in here, I don't see how these hotels ever made it. Uh, sure, it is cheaper to stay in some of these hotels and up in the hustle bustle area. But uh, like this one here, I was just saying, now in a part tail I guess when we did live back here when things were up and running there were people staying in these places so all right let's see what else is new all right guys I'm gonna wrap this one up where I started uh, it's just nice to walk around in the old neighborhood and check things out in the progress of things matter of fact I even stopped talked to one of my neighbors from where we lived who moved up the road just got done talking to him um, it's good to talk to him catch up on a few things share our ideas of everything that's going on here uh, when it comes to the issues and the problems uh, but anyways boys it's a nice day nice day they say though next couple days there's a storm rolling and we'll see we'll see it is the rainy season so uh once again guys thanks for th thank you guys so much for watching um, the videos that i put out uh, I do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, take the time to subscribe. Um, update on the the pictures. Um, guys are still sending me pictures, so I'm going to still keep accepting pictures, maybe to the end of the month, and then I'm going to start working on this project that, I, uh, that I've been wanting to do. Um, so anyways, with that being said, take care of yourself, take care of each other, take care of the sick, the elderly, the young, your pets take care of your pets and we'll talk to you later